Well, today is a Women's Veterans Day. Oregon is one of only four states nationwide that made this proclamation. It comes on the 71st anniversary of the Women in the Armed Services Integration Act, which officially made women part of the military. Elise Haas sat down with a local veteran who talks about this celebration of the sacrifice of our women veterans. I always wanted to be in the in the military. At five years old, Kelly Fitzpatrick wasn't dressed up as a ballerina. Instead, she saw herself as a soldier. My favorite toys were plastic guns and my little army hat there when I was about <laughs> five years old. Like many women, she possesses a willingness for sacrifice. She entered the army right after college. I was a hard charger. But she admits there were challenges as a woman, like being confused confined to traditionally female roles. When I was in Korea as my first tour, I was the only female officer as a brand new second lieutenant in a large area. Over the decades, women have proven their interest in being a part of the military. And today, women have endless opportunities because all of the military occupations are open to them. I would have loved to have been in one of the combat arms, but I, I'm very thankful that there are other women who followed me, who continued to push the glass ceiling and open those doors. Kelly says women are now recognized as being strong and entirely capable of competing for combat arms positions. Often over the centuries, we've had to work twice as hard to get half the recognition, but women will do it. In Oregon, there are more than 28,000 women veterans, and June 12th, is now dedicated to all of them. To be able to elevate women in their the service that they had in the military and to the country, I think is just really heartening and shows the governor's really true support of our veterans in Oregon. On this first ever Women Veterans Day, she holds her dear memories of the military with pride and joy. As part of this historic Women Veterans Day celebration, an exhibit called I Am Not Invisible, which features 20 portraits of Oregon women military veterans and their stories. And this will be on display in the rotunda of the Capitol in Salem from Friday through Sunday. So if you want to learn more about women in service, head to coin.com. Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.